Hi, I'm Jake Durgan. And I'm Tristan Rude. We're here at the Mount Vernon Mustangs football field where not a single team lost a game here this year. That's all the way going up from middle school up to high school. Wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Good morning, my name is Joe Wallace. I'm the assistant principal and activities director as well as the offensive coordinator of the football team. Well, I think that uh, I think we're, we're definitely headed in the right direction. You know, kind of bottomed out there in 2010 and uh, with an 0 and 9 campaign. And um, since then, we kind of decided it was time to hit the reboot on, on, on the program and we kind of made some changes in terms of some of our philosophies of, of offense and defense. and. And it's headed in the right direction. And two big steps forward, a little bit of a step back, but you know, it, I, I'm not completely satisfied. I know that, and I don't think any of our players are. I, I see a future of continued success. Um, you know, I, I'd like to see us continue to be a playoff team year in and year out, um, and make runs in the playoffs. Um, I, I just see a core. The core of the program has been rebuilt, and uh, I feel that it's healthy especially because we had the youth levels going and the junior high levels going and everybody's kind of running the same thing and, and having the same philosophies of how we want to how we want to establish uh, our, our identity offensively and defensively. So uh, I think the future is bright. You know, we beat all the teams we were supposed to beat. If, uh, if the odds makers in Vegas, uh, we beat all the teams that we were favored against. Um, and then we didn't beat any of the teams that we probably weren't favored against, and that was, that was the tough part of it. Um, so two big steps forward, one little step back. We... You know, if we stopped every game at half, we would have been 8-1 football team. And uh, we just had some too many second halves where um, things didn't quite go uh, how they needed to go. But, but they were learning lessons. And, uh, and I think those are some games that we'll, we'll, we'll win in years to come. So I had a, I had a teammate that was uh, a little skittish, and he was receiving a kickoff. And... Um, and started running and saw the Mount Vernon kids running at him on the kickoff team and he literally tossed the ball up in the air because he didn't want to get hit by these guys and they recovered it and went in for a touchdown. And we were getting our behinds kicked and probably down by 30 or 35 points and uh, one of our kids fumbles the ball and a Mount Vernon kid picks it up and gets mixed up and runs the opposite direction all the way in to the end zone for what ended up being a safety. So we scored. And my dad, who you know, is very humorous, yells, nobody shuts out the Regals. Because obviously that was two points and, and we didn't get shut out. Mount Vernon was awfully tough when I was in junior high. We're here in the end zone where Mount Vernon's Connor Schaefer tied for the fourth longest kickoff return in Iowa high school history with a 96-yard kick return for a touchdown. He also had five of those kick returns this season. My name's Ryan Whitman. I was the uh, one. Of, I was a free safety, wide receiver, and kicker uh, for the 2002 state runner-up team. Oh man, I mean, it was it was a great feeling, uh, especially for me. Um, my dad played here. Was on the 74 state championship team, uh, so it was a big deal for me going to the state championship game. Um, I mean, it was it was awesome. We were team that were uh, pretty good friends and um, had a lot of us play both ways so it, it meant a lot. Um, the football team was just phenomenal. I remember going to games, you know, being first, second grade, going to games, watching guys, looking up to the guys that played. Um, just great, great athletes. I remember Coach Hopes playing. I was in eighth grade when he was a senior. I remember being at the game where I had a playoff game. Um, you know, I don't remember too many years where we weren't good. That's just Mount Vernon football. The uh, never give up. That that's probably where I would say we're most alike. Um, you know, we might have had a little bit better athletes. Um, this team this year had pretty good athletes as well. Um, but I would say the thing that they had similar to what we had was never giving up. Um, we were a big time second half team. Um, later in the year, this team really came on during the second half. Um, so that's another way we're probably alike. The guys keep working hard. It, we're going to be back to the glory days. Um, you know that that's what it comes down to. Are you guys going to, are guys going to lift? Are they going to work in the off season? Are they going to participate in other sports um, and be successful in those sports to help them continue that success? Um, to me, you know, success breeds success. So 
I think, I think guys continue to work hard and keep having success other places, we're going to keep this thing rolling. Back when this whole field was new, the Mustangs were quite a good football team. But recently, we haven't been doing so well. The Mustangs in the past couple of years have been in a six-year slump without getting into the playoffs. But this year, we fought our way to a 5-5 five and five record. And into the playoffs. I feel like it was a successful year. I mean, we reached the playoffs, which was our goal, and we haven't done that in six years. It wouldn't change much. It was a fun time, and I'm going to miss playing with these guys.